your next performer, the very funny, the hilarious Graham Chittenden! <laughs> Just, apparently, just stay off the internet. That's your best bet so far. Guys, I've done none of that with my father. And I'm healthier for it. Stop deciding how you're gonna live based on the internet. I want, let's, let's fix our lives tonight. You, you, all of you. Stop doing stuff because the internet tells you, hey, let's do this. Coloring. Stop coloring. Who told us adults color again? I'm not coloring. They have adult coloring books now, and not even the fun kind. There's no nudity. They're just harder pictures to color. I passed that stage in my life. I'm done. I don't need to color. But they have adult coloring books. Stop. Why? My girlfriend bought me one. I tried for a bit. I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. The fridge is full. I see no point. <laughs> Plus, I bought that fridge. That's how you know you're too old to color. If you were putting the pictures you finished on the fridge you're financing right now, you, were, you don't need to color. It's supposed to be a stress release. It's, we have adult problems, okay? If you can solve your problems with coloring, maybe you weren't that far gone. Maybe try an ice cream sandwich first. And if that doesn't work, get yourself a coloring book. In the meantime, you don't need to color, okay? Desserts, they don't have to be complicated. Stop watching those time-lapse desserts. Rainbow-colored cakes and stuff. Food processors, stop it. <laughs> if you are grinding up Oreo cookies to make the crust of your dessert, stop making dessert. You had dessert. It was Oreo cookies. You were done. Stop working so hard. It's all these trends on the internet that are like, I could do that, you don't have to. There's at least 12 idiots in here who are convinced that they could live in a tiny house. <laughs> From one picture you saw on Instagram? It was the, it was, it was the one second you could have done it. It's a, nothing is out of place. That's why it looks so easy. You saw a picture. You're like, I could do that. Of course you could. Those people are happy. They own an orchard. They're smiling at each other. Nobody has the flu. <laughs> Those are the situations you could live in a tiny home, but you really can't, because people like things. You like getting presents? If you live in a tiny home, that's done. What do you got, three pairs of pants? That's out. You gotta pick your favorite, and those are your pants now. You can't accept presents in a tiny house? A duvet? Are you nuts? I could drown. My bedroom is the top of the cupboards. I can't have this. What, am I gonna build an addition? You can't live in a tiny house. Don't look at that picture and decide. The next time you're at the mall in a change room, look around and think, if this had a kitchen, I could live here. But don't, you can't do it. Stop thinking you could live in a tiny home. I will never live anywhere that you could steal with a RAV4. That's a rule I have. I have rules like that. You can't fight with the other person you live with. You can't fight with your spouse. You can fight once to the death, but that's it. <laughs> there are no spats. There's no, I don't want to see your face for the rest of the night. There's 150 square feet. If you don't want to see my face for the rest of the night, we got to sit back to back. <laughs> it's like the new trend, tiny homes. And not only are people living in tiny homes, they're building their own. Because people think, I, I saw some pictures on Pinterest. I could probably do this. You can't. Everything you see on Pinterest, you can't build. People are building, and they're building out of garbage. That's another thing that's hot right now. Garbage, old doors. People will kill you for an old door. They don't even want it as a door, they want it as a headboard. My girlfriend's like, could we make a headboard out of an old door? We have a headboard that was a headboard. The war is over, the scrap drive has been canceled. Let's just buy things that are supposed to be those things. She saw a shed made out of old doors. She's like, could you make me a shed out of old doors? No, because I couldn't install a door as a door. If you gave me a door and came back an hour later, there'd be a man crying in a doorway. That's all you'd get. 
HGTV has just ruined everybody for like, you can do it yourself. You can fix it up. Why? What makes you think that? You can't do it. Stop thinking that. You will buy everything you need to build a deck from scratch. And then you'll take a break and you'll go get lunch at Subway. And why Subway? Because you can't make a sandwich. <laughs> That's your actual building skill. That's why there's a Subway in the Home Depot. Have you noticed that? <laughs> They know they sell power tools to assholes who can't stack meat and cheese into a bun. They know. <laughs> they know that you're gonna build your own garage and outsource your lunch. They know, but they don't care. Because you, you get that disregard for things from your parents. You watch, like, you buy a house, like, I can fix this up. I own a plaid shirt. Let's get up there. Let's get up on that roof and put a roof on. You can't do a roof. If you're not a roofer, your roof is a ramp to your driveway. That's it. <laughs> Walls, don't take them down. I don't want to ruin the surprise for you, but they're holding up the ceiling. Did you know that? <laughs> there are things behind those walls you don't know anything about. Wires? Do you know anything about wires? No, you don't. But every asshole I meet cuts wires like he works for the bomb squad. <laughs> Nobody's afraid of them. I watched my dad cut an electrical box out of, out of a wall with a saw that was plugged into that electrical box. <laughs> That's who taught me everything I think I know. I don't know anything. But you seriously think you can do it? Anything you can do it quickly. You ever like renovated it? We're gonna, we're gonna do the guest room this weekend. No, you're not. You're gonna do the guest room until you're 45 years old. It's gonna take you the right, I was gonna renovate my whole kitchen in a weekend. I'm four years in, I can't get the wallpaper off. I'm stuck there and it doesn't come down. People always say, oh, just try hot water. I sprayed, well, yeah, I sprayed hot water everywhere. I have mold now, that's what's going on. They don't show real people trying to take down wallpaper with their thumbnail, doing one inch squares for three or four years. They don't show that. They don't show me taking a week off to let my thumbnail grow back. They don't show that shit on TV. I'm trying to get that on TV. I've pitched my own show. Fingers crossed, 2018, Graham Jinden presents Fuck This House. That's my show. It's called Fuck This House. It's a real time home renovation show, real time. Every episode is 26 hours, 26 episodes, four hours a piece, 100 plus hours of TV. I show you the drinking, the crying, the swearing, the breaking up, the getting back together, watching Die Hard for two hours, all the things that go into a home renovation. Season one is 26 four-hour episodes where I install one ceiling fan. One. A ceiling fan. Every single second of it. You watch with me. Starts with me in the kitchen. Ceiling fan in a box on the floor. Welcome to Fuck This House. I'm your host, Graham Chittenden. And I don't have a ladder. Let's start right at the start. I don't own a ladder. So let's pull over the kitchen table. Let's climb on top of it. Let's fall off of it one time. Let's climb back on with no socks on this time. There's a trick of the trade. We're gonna take out this old life fixture, which is only held in by one screw, which would be an easy job if I had the corresponding screwdriver, but I don't, do I? No, and why would I? So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take a screwdriver I do have, jam it in on an angle, and try and flick my wrist so the corners of the star catch the corners of whatever the fuck shape that is that I've never seen before. It's not the square, it's not the star, it's not the slot. The previous owner made his own screws. He made his own screws. He forged his own screws into the shape of his family coat of arms. So if anybody out there has a screwdriver that's like a guy on a horse in front of a crest ready to adjust another guy, I'd love to borrow it. In the meantime, I get to dig in this thing with a Phillips head, one minute on, nine minutes off. You gotta take nine minutes off in between minutes because your arm will burn with the fatigue like you tried to swim Lake Ontario. I can't explain it, but we're gonna do that for four hours. Come back next week, I'll show you how to use a butter knife. That's all the time we have this week on Fuck This House. <laughs> Season two, I drop one screw. We look for it for 26 episodes. <laughs> Season finale, laces in my shoe. That's where it was the whole time. That's fucked this house. In the meantime, I gotta go. My name is Graham Chinden. <laughs>